The list has treated Noma as a new restaurant. How do you think, how different do you think it is compared to when you were in the older location and what you're doing right now in, in the new place? I mean, do you consider yourself as a new restaurant? I do actually, I do actually. I mean, we, we thought about not naming Noma, Noma in the new place. But my partner said, no, there's no way. If you do that, we will fight you, you know? But I, I wanted it. Uh, at first to just call it something else. What was the name you had in mind? Oh, all sorts of names. I won't get into that now. <laughs> but there was all sorts of names. At one point I wanted to call it the Weather Restaurant, okay. which uh, everybody thought was a bad name, but... In Danish? No, no, in English, oh, okay. because the weather is dictates what we have on the menu. But it was a genuine uh, consideration. And people were like, why do you build all this up and then, you know, as a name and then throw it away? That would be the most dumb thing you could do. But it was genuinely some uh, consideration. Either there's, the music is crazy loud or there's a huge party going on. I feel like there's a party going on. And but this big? <laughs> well, it seems like everybody is like... I'm waiting for you. Are you an outro? Yes, this is my oldest daughter. Yes. Yeah. It is great. She has uh, poppies here. That's my wife's favorite flower. Oh, that's great. Oh. You do like a short person, do like a Superman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's about creativity. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna of wear a tie. A, a zinia, sure. yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty. Uh, before the the pandemic, actually, you were the first uh, from the restaurant staff to go on. Uh, uh, a three-month sabbatical. Uh, is it something that uh, you want uh, to continue? And who will be the next uh, person? Uh, I know that uh, Mats or Somaye is doing it uh, next year. Okay. We've had already several people that's uh, gone through this. I w of course, I want to do it again. I mean, I only had two months yeah. because the pandemic had to go home a month early. How important was that time for you? Uh, with the with the benefit of hindsight, there was the pandemic that that came, which changed sort of uh, sort of everything. I but mean, if you having a vacation, if you can't allow yourself to take some time off, what the hell is it worth? <laughs> That's uh, basically the the silver lining behind our decisions. And um, and you know, when you have three kids and they grow up, and you want to be close to them. My uh, one of my daughters was having a rough moment. It was a perfect time for us to really spend time. Congratulations again. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, bringing the new idea or the new value to the culinary world is that still your one of your vision? The new what? New value or new idea to the culinary? New ideas. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, I, this is where I feel the most comfortable. Is trying to figure out new ideas. So this where, is what I. This is what fuels me. So normally, where how you get how you gain the new ideas? So from the culture. I, I mean, new ideas. In my opinion, I have a very simple formula for it. That's okay. very that's very difficult to obtain. Creativity to me starts with uh, knowledge. Okay. Gaining knowledge through traveling, through reading books, watching movies being very present, observing everything. Mm -hmm. And we typically say that at, at, uh, in our creative team, we say for every one idea we have, we need 10 ideas in. Okay. So does that make sense? Yes. So, which means that if you don't allow yourself to fill yourself and allow the time to actually read books or do all these things, you run dry. Yeah, true. And then you start repeating yourself. True. And then you fall. The, the whole steps. Yeah. Okay. So. You know, and then in that comes also intuition, training your intuition. Yeah. If you, if you know when there's something in the present that can fuse with something you've learned, yep. when those two connect, that's creativity in my opinion. Okay. Being able to organize your mind like a big house. True. And you know exactly, okay, I'm seeing this, and I know now, I, immediately your intuition tells you, I'm going to this room yep. for this idea and I'm fusing that. Yes. That's creativity to me. And you need to, you need to make decision like, you know, 0.1 seconds. But that's intuition. Yes. It's, it's uh, trusting yourself. Yeah. 
that uh, it's a uh, it's that feeling you know the sports people they do it they they know almost where the ball comes before it comes true you know? true true and uh, it takes a lot of practice a lot of training knowing in the gut what you're gonna do okay thank you for yeah. Yeah, I have another question, and uh, I'm not sure you will agree with it or not, but uh, this, you know, the award is considered as the public collection of the Premier World, and uh, number one means the making the trend for the future of the gastronomy. So what kind of the message you would like to send to the world? I think right now, messages are a little bit, you know, the biggest message I have is just really, really stay positive mm -hmm. <laughs> right now. Mm -hmm. We're going through a very tough moment, mm -hmm. trying to, you know, uh, I mean, even though in Denmark everything is open around the world, mm -hmm. you will have uh, the worst uh, period of the pandemic still. Mm -hmm. And so um, staying positive, however, whatever that means, is the most important thing you can have. Mm -hmm. Peace of mind. It's the strongest currency, better than Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna disappoint you because I don't believe in legacy. Okay. And so what do you have, what do you want, want to remember you as? You know? I don't think people will remember anything. Yeah. No, so maybe five, 10 years stars, after. Stars, <laughs> I think no, if you're Gandhi, they'll remember, remember you. They, they're not gonna remember, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm sorry to say this, but uh, some of the young cooks we have in our kitchen now, but they don't even know who Farhan Andrea is. If you work for Legacy, I believe you are... Uh, so what do you work for? Uh, not for Legacy, I can tell you that Your much. It's a, it's, I work to, to, I work to have a... Crea mm -hmm. for, the, for the creativity, I guess, mm -hmm. to be part of, a, of, a, of an energy that does something special to you. So, no oh, oh, sneezing <laughs> in pandemic <laughs> times. <laughs>